Today, I am imprinting the power of love to all genuine hearts. I am activating your soul truth through my healing words. Listen to the sound of a siren as I am activating the Holy Spirit within. I am sharing the eternal blue flame of pure love in the eternal now through my wisdom writings. Holy Spirit now takes the wheel. Holy Spirit now takes the wheel. Genuine Twin Flame Soul Truth, Sacred Soul Assignments, and Genuine Blueprint now fully activated. I am imprinting the pure light of the Holy Spirit as I share the sacred revelations as a master scribe who now takes the will to heal, clear, and purify all genuine twin flames. I am imprinting this wisdom writing to liberate us in the eternal now from the chains of illusion and deception. I am courageously standing as the strongest pillar of Father God and Mother God in the earthly realm. I am fully anchoring to all dimensions the Christ consciousness and blue flame of eternal love. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame Energy Healer and I am called by the Holy Spirit within to stand as the strongest pillar for all genuine Twin Flames. My beloved genuine Twin Flames, I am here now as your guardian, healer and purifier. My sacred soul assignment as a Blu-ray is to imprint to all sacred hearts the healing, clearing, and purification of all divine pure lovers and anchor the blue flame of eternal love on Mother Earth. Our soul truth, sacred soul assignments, and genuine blueprint as genuine twin flames are now fully activated. I am now sharing the sacred bond and covenant of genuine twin flames with the divine source 9-13-13-9. We have the sacred soul assignment to heal ourselves from all distortions and manipulations. We also have the mission to clear the way for our soul love divine complements. And as we both heal the divine feminine and divine masculine energies, we also have the mission and vision to clear the way for the soul truth of all genuine souls to come into light. Our genuine blueprint is to hold the torch of the blue flame of eternal love and fully anchor it to Mother Earth. As genuine twin flames, our sacred bond with our divine complements is the supreme bond with the divine source. This sacred bond and covenant holds the Holy Trinity within and in turn radiates the eternal flame of the sacred rose to all of humanity. We can only imprint our own experience of this sacred bond of being a genuine twin flame. Everything is now revealed to me as nothing is hidden now. The all-seeing eye and the full recalibration 
of our telepathic gifts with our divine compliments are now fully activated. The Holy Spirit is the most important spark of my entirety as this is the will of divine guidance I used in this incarnation. The Holy Spirit holds the purity and divinity within my entirety as a divine Christed being. When the Holy Spirit led me to embark to the sacred journey of genuine twin flames, I hold on to the will of my destiny and life in this incarnation through its divine guidance. In my spiritual awakening last 2010, I had a divine encounter with the Shekinah, white bird of the Holy Spirit, sacred heart of Jesus Christ, Christ the King, Holy Trinity, and Divine Source. Read and listen to this divine encounter in my Sun Path post. This 2010 Divine Encounter was the most important part of my life as a Blu-ray in this incarnation because this gave me the sole truth of my mission and vision. On those moments, I had experienced sacred revelations along the way before the Shekinah Holy Spirit Divine Encounter. I also experienced Dark Night of the Soul, which lasted for one night before the Divine Encounter. All were revealed to me on that fateful night on how deep the rabbit hole is, and signs were also given when the clearing and purification of all will begin. The 2010 Dark Night of the Soul, which lasted for one night, prepared and trained me when I embarked to the perilous journey in the spiral world of my Divine Masculine. I experienced the full blast of the Dark Night of the Soul when I was with my genuine twin twin. The dark night of the soul lasted for three consecutive nights, and on those moments, everything was revealed to me. It was a timeline jumping, for I experienced the three nights of darkness on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. The Holy Spirit guided and protected me fully on those nights as the ego was dying and the rebirth of the truth was given. And I now understand fully all of my encounter last 2010. For this fateful year prepared and trained me for the full recalibration of the ascension process and the sacred heart activation with my genuine twin flame. On the fateful year of 2010, a sacred revelation of a man who would hold the pure truth with me was given. As my Akashic record was accessed, I understood the revelation as a man who would help me propel forward to the vision and mission shown to me as my soul truth and destiny. And when I met the faithful man in the sacred revelation, I intuitively know that it was him who would help me push through with the mission I hold dearly in my heart last 2010. And when telepathic abilities were activated between us, that was the eternal now I realized 
that the faithful man was my genuine twin flame. When I was with my Divine Masculine, the mission and vision was fully activated. And even if the journey with him triggered all the depths of my entirety, I still pushed through with the mission in the physical plane with him as I cannot leave him alone in a place where I saw that he was with wolves who only feed their ego. Then my higher self and Holy Spirit guided me to let go of him physically as every last drop of my fears come into light. And I have to heal, clear, and purify myself fully to propel forward with my soul sacred assignment. Through this wisdom writing, I am imprinting all sacred revelations and distortions in my twin flame journey to come into light to also help other twin flames to provide you all with a clear vantage point of our sacred journey. I am transmuting all energies and revelations in this writing to the pure light of the violet flames. All I can remember in our meeting phase is that we were both in our higher element as divine beings. I have fully activated the joy as a little child in those moments. His eyes on those moments also radiate the genuineness of a little child. We were both joyful on those moments as we both hold the divine purpose within us. I still did not know at that moment that He was a destined path for the pure truth of my existence. In the meeting phase with my twin flame Divine Masculine, I had the opportunity to work with him as we both embrace the shared mission and vision on those fateful moments. The divine purpose of our mission and vision were the main key points of the meeting phase. Then our destiny as pure genuine twin flames was activated along the way. We both saw the bigger picture in each other's life. We both became the mirror energies of each other as the clearing of our distorted life force energy and DNA strands has to come into light for healing. The radiance of the divine power of the Holy Spirit was so strong when I embarked to the spiral world of my divine masculine. I hold on to the Holy Spirit on those moments, for I intuitively know that my vision and mission has fully started. It was an experience of being thrown to a wolf pack where wolves only feed their ego. There was one encounter where I prayed courageously in front of a dark entity clothed with an illusion of a physical body. This entity strike imbalance to the sacredness of the rose and the divinity of my divine complement in his past incarnation as a divine feminine. As I say the prayer, my voice was shaking at that moment, 
but the divine essence of the divine power of the Holy Spirit was extremely felt by my entirety as the Holy Spirit enveloped me with its highest regions. At that moment, I was praying and speaking through my sacred heart with the Holy Spirit in front of the entity. And now, everything was revealed to me non-stop now. As in the astral plane, I confronted this dark entity, saying courageously, I know who you are and what you are doing. These dark entities were the deceivers who were clothed with an illusion of physical body in the spiral world of my divine complement. These were the feminine and masculine energies who strike imbalance to the divinity of my divine masculine when he was incarnated as a divine feminine in past incarnation. I have patiently unlocked these revelations gradually and reveal it only when the clear picture is fully accessed. We have the mission to heal ourselves and also clear, heal, and purify our beloved soul. This is one of the mission of genuine twin flames, especially now that the Divine Feminines has stepped up to their divinity. We are now fully activated to clear the way for our beloveds. When I was with my twin flame, our telepathic abilities were heightened and he showed me the black spells and psychic attacks done to my very being. On those moments, he also healed the weakness of my blue chakra as the distortion done to me trap my communication and purification portal and I now unlocked that the divine feminine healing energies within my divine masculine also help me step up to my mission and vision. He saw the bigger picture within me and all of the things I need to heal clearing the way for me to fully access the divinity in me. And through this wisdom writing, I am revealing that the mission of my Divine Masculine to me was also my mission to Him as a Divine Feminine. Now that I have cleared, healed, and purified my entirety, I have to also clear the way for my beloved to recognize his soul truth, reveal the black spells and psychic attacks done to his divinity. The manipulations used were tactics of extreme deceiving and distortion. It can be likened to a free house candy given to a child to feed one's hunger and ego. I can describe the perilous journey like the Hansel and Gretel children's classic story. Hansel represents the divine masculine and Gretel represents the Divine Feminine. The dark night of the soul were experienced by Hansel and Gretel in the forest. And both were lost in the matrix of the spiral world, but the Holy Spirit within kept them both afloat in the journey. 
in my twin flame experience, my entirety as a divine feminine were shattered when I left my divine masculine in the matrix candy house. Like Gretel, I break free from everything in that matrix place and saw the bigger picture that we were all manipulated in the third and fourth dimension. When I turn my back and let go of my divine masculine in the physical plane, my sacred heart whispers the eternal pure love we both hold as genuine twin flames. It was the most painful challenge as I have to let go of him fully to heal, clear, and purify myself to push through with a vision and mission. The pain of leaving Hansel, Divine Masculine, in the Matrix Candy House was the most challenging ordeal as I have to stand firm for us so that we can release all distortions and manipulation. In the children's story, Gretel, as the Divine Feminine, was the one who did everything to free them both in the Matrix Candy House. Hansel, on the other hand, were caged and locked as he has to face all illusion, lies, and deception with chains. Gretel, in the story, tried everything to free them both from the cage and chains of manipulation. A story of both feminine and masculine energies liberated from the matrix candy house and came back in the loving arms of Father God and Mother God. The sacred revelations is non-stop now as the Divine Masculines are now awakened of the pure truth. In the Matrix Candy House, where I left my Divine Masculine, the masculine and feminine energies around him were the ones who strike imbalance in her divinity in the past incarnation. My Divine Masculine now is my Divine Feminine in our past incarnation. And the ones who are around Him now were the deceivers who use outdated schemes of manipulation. These dark entities were giving free candy to deceive Hansel and stay in the Matrix Candy House, a comfortable life of feeding the ego of the Divine Masculine is their tactic of distortion. On the other hand, Gretel, as the Divine Feminine, holds the pure truth and sacred keys. The Divine Feminine is the Holy Spirit within, and all Divine Feminines has now embraced the divinity within themselves. The Divine Feminines are now stepping up to the vision and mission with a full embodiment of pure love. This helped the Divine Masculine Collective awaken to the pure soul truth. I have decoded the Hansel and Gretel story now. This is the first children's book I have read when I was a little girl. 
And as I heal, the little child within my entirety, I want to share the wisdom of the Holy Spirit through the metaphor codes of the classic children's story. As Jinwin Twin claims, we both hold the masculine energy of Hansel and the feminine energy of Gretel. Both energies of the masculine and feminine polarities of God within us must be activated to propel us forward in our mission and vision as twin flames. My Divine Masculine is my Divine Feminine in our past incarnation. The hidden wisdom is that even if Hansel was locked and caged in the Matrix Candy House, he has within him the Divine Feminine energy of Gretel to break free from the chains of illusion and deception of the old matrix. Being a Divine Feminine in the past incarnation gave him the access to the Divine Power and Divinity within. The sacred keys are now within the healing hands of my Divine Masculine. The Holy Spirit is the Divine Feminine within as we embrace our Divinity. The faith, hope, and love we have as genuine Twin Flames now sustains us in this sacred journey. I must also share that I was activated as a genuine twin flame before I was activated as a blue ray. The blue ray mission of healing and clearing the bloodline I am incarnated into gave me now the revelation that the matrix candy house is also in one's family. The black spells done to our divinity as Chinwin Twin Flames was so extreme as if the whole treaty world is against us all. But as we have firm foot on all dimensions, I realize that the Matrix Candy House can be transmuted to pure light and transform it to the new earth. We just have to embrace the Christed divinity within us. Once activated as a twin flame, there is no turning back, my beloveds, for it is the eternal now to face and embrace fully our soul's sacred assignments. The old matrix timeline has to crumble down to ashes because we hold the new earth within us. Release all things that is not serving your highest good. Release all things that is not serving your highest good. For we are awakened first to hold the eternal flame for all genuine souls to wake up. I have written the sacred wisdom because I felt the pain of transition of genuine twin flames as I tap to the twin flame collective energy. I have to stand firm and share my piece of the puzzle to help twin flames propel forward in our mission and vision. And I say to you that we were the courageous ones who stepped up and said yes to the genuine twin flame sacred journey. 
we all firmly embrace the mission and vision to hold the torch of blue flame of eternal love. And we all said yes, we are ready to come back to our bride, the Holy Spirit within, the sacred rose, Mother Earth, New Earth, 13, 33, 333. And I say to you that we were the courageous ones who stepped up and said yes to the genuine twin flame sacred journey. We all firmly embrace the mission and vision to hold the torch of blue flame of eternal love. And we all said yes, we are ready to come back to our bride, the Holy Spirit within the sacred rose, Mother Earth, New Earth, 13, 33, 333. And I say to you that we were the courageous ones who stepped up and said yes to the genuine twin flame sacred journey. We all firmly embrace the mission and vision to hold the torch of blue flame of eternal love. And we all said yes, we are ready to come back to our bride, the Holy Spirit within, the sacred rose, Mother Earth, New Earth, 13, 33, 333. With love, the eternal blue flame of twin flames, brave blue ray twin flame energy healer, Sophie, divine feminine, the name whispered by the tree of life to my pure heart. Copyright 11 year with pure light and love. Share divinely guided writings and include the source Sophie, divine feminine, the name whispered by the tree of life to my pure heart. Include all words for the clear picture of the divine wisdom as these messages are the vessel of sacred heart, love of the Holy Spirit, Sophia of Christ, Goddess of Wisdom, guided extraordinary divine wisdom of eternal love, and I am grateful to share this healing wisdom to heal all and unlock the sacred keys in our being. With love eternal, Sophie, divine feminine, I am the sound of a siren.